find the limit of the function x squared minus 9 over x minus 3 as x approaches 4. So if you have a rational function, as this is, or a polynomial function, take a look first at the domain. The domain is all reals except what can x not be? And in this case, x cannot be 3. Or in other words, you cannot let the denominator equal 0. And if we plugged in 3 for x, you'd get a 0 in the denominator. And so uh, the function would be undefined when x equals 3. But we are taking the limit as x approaches a different number, as x approaches 4. So we're going to be OK by finding the limit the limit as x approaches 4, and I'll just call this of the function, that's going to equal f of 4. So let's just plug in 4, and you get 4 squared minus 9 over 4 minus 3. That makes a pretty nice denominator, easy for us, which gives us 16 minus 9 over 1. And so therefore, we can say that the limit as x approaches 4, the limit of this function that we've named f of x, f of x does not equal this, but the limit of the function as x equals 4 equals 7. So that's our answer to the, to the first question, is 7. And that direct substitution, again, only works when the value that we are taking the limit or that we are letting x approach is not the same as as uh, something that would make the function undefined. So, in the next example, let's take a look at when we do have that situation where the, the number that you're um, finding the limit, that you're, you're letting x approach, is something that's not in the domain. So here we have the domain of all reals except x is not equal to 4. Well, that's the same as, as the... Um, x is approaching 4. So if I try the direct approach, let's call this g of x just to not confuse this. If I, I'm going to call this function g of x. g of 4, well that is undefined. 4 is not in the domain. So we can't just use the direct uh, substitution. But what we can do is factor and the x minus 4 will drop out so that we can then still, even though, even though the function is not defined when x is 4, we can still find the limit when x equals or as x approaches 4. So let's factor this. So g of x, we've called this function g. g of x equals x minus 4 times the quantity x minus 2. I've just factored the numerator. The denominator cannot factor anymore. Just call it x minus 4. And then, hey, we're in luck. x minus 4, that factor cancels out. And we're left with uh, x minus 2. Now, we still have the restriction that x, uh, that 4 is not in the domain of this. But, but now, if we substitute 4, in for x, so g of 4, well that is just equals 4 minus 2, which equals 2, and that will be then the answer. So the limit of the function g of x as x approaches 4 equals 2, and that's the answer to this uh, b part, the b question. So again, just to review, check the domain, and if there is a number that, uh, that makes the function undefined, then make sure that you're not taking the limit as x approaches that number. And if that's, if that's okay, then you can just do direct substitution when it's a rational function or a polynomial function. This is a rational function. It looks like a, a fraction. Polynomial is, would just be the top here. That's an example of a, of a polynomial function. Okay, and part B here we have the case where a number that is excluded from the domain is the number that you're letting x approach. Well, 
then we can't use the direct substitution yet. First we have to factor, cancel out that x minus 4, and now we're left with just x minus 2, and now you can just substitute. So you have the 4 minus 2 equals 2, and that's the limit as, as x approaches 4.